Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. Uh, we basically have no way to go but forward here in the Weeping Peninsula. I think it's time to sort of tackle the main portion of this area, but I did notice I have enough uh, runes to level up once. Man, I don't know. See, I sort of... I kind of want everything, that's the issue. I want a little bit more FP now that I'm starting to use magic. Vigor is always useful. Endurance wouldn't... Well, actually, endurance is the least sort of important. But... I do not know. Intelligence... Yeah, we're going to put some points into mind. Uh, th that's, that's the thing we're going for. So, yeah. Uh, I think the sort of prevailing tactic here will be just to run... Uh, as I saw, there is sort of like a ballista shooting at you, but I think really that should be no issue. Depending on how accurate it is, I might just be able to ride and avoid it. But still, there is a sneaking suspicion in me that there are areas here left to explore. Here, sort of like towards this area. Might just be the cliff and... It could be like nothing here. Still, it doesn't hurt to come this way. So anyways, uh, we did a lot of exploration in the previous episode. And I think, generally, I feel like I covered most of the key locations here. There might be something over here. Uh, this looks more like an enemy encounter rather than like an actual... This, this, this is not a dungeon or anything like that. Yeah, shit like this I will avoid. Holy... Did you see that? I thought we were getting shot at from the castle. But <laughs> uh oh. Oh yeah, bitch. I have a horse. I can strafe left. I can't. Um. This guy's gonna fuck me. Whoa, he has like no HP. What the hell? I thought these guys were way stronger. Well, the one I got to in the last episode, the one in the capital, is way stronger. Uh, that dude was a bit of a bitch, not gonna lie. You're seeing what I'm seeing, right? I know you are. Like, how could I not have a look at all these buster swords right here? What is this? The Siege of Castle Morn, a lone hero fights for his vengeance, only to fall at the hands of Lord Godfrey. This Lord Godfrey, she was mentioned by the by, by our waifu, right? I haven't like began piecing together the lore, believe me. But Godfrey and Marika are the two names sticking out. I'm sure, I'm sure all, both of them are going to be bosses, like, there is zero chance they're not going to be bosses. Okay, let me just have a look around here and then we'll actually get to the castle. Yeah, we're good here, we can, we can get going and, yeah, our second castle to explore. So we have to find the dude who I still think is going to be dead and deliver the letter we got. Let's try to get at least like one quest line right here. So yeah, we'll we'll be on the lookout. What is this place? I thought that was a pressure trap. I think it's not. Okay. And by the way, again, I have zero clue whether you actually need to come here for the main quest. There seem to be like the grace point pointing towards here, so I'm guessing you do need to come here. I just don't know what exactly we're going to be doing here. This looks 
This is by far the most Demon Soulsy place we've been to in the game. Castle Morn. That is cool. That is really cool. Yeah, this is super, super Demon Soulsy. Uh, sort of the general vibe. I guess it's the rain as well. And sort of the gray skies. That's a very Castle Boletaria place. Okay, so we're still getting Smithing Stone 2s. Um, I don't know why they couldn't just stick to the naming convention of... Something with big footsteps. At least that's what I heard. Uh, I don't know what was wrong with like large shards or whatever. Smithing stone twos. It's a little bit awkward to say. It's all good. We don't mind. Are these guys going to have a bad day? Technically they're not like aggroing but there's treasure so you're getting backstab that didn't work out you're getting backstabbed you're all getting backstabbed or I'm getting fucked up <laughs> either or and these are these enemies are weird and they have no poise, so we're golden. Look at their little shaman. God. It's like they're they're like the grues. Ah uh, shit! With that jumping attack, fucking hell! I can do that too. Yeah. Try dodging away, Mr. Sketchhead. Should have gotten the wolf hose out. Oh, we had the same. See, I like that. We're thinking the same thoughts. Yeah, I gotta remember that I have the wolves and everything. Actually, I picked up some new ones, didn't I? Uh, Lutal the Headless. It, that is a lot of FP. And these Godric Sol no, we had the Godric soldiers, the demi humans. They're the ones. Let's check them out as well. Like in an area where there isn't like one single enemy left. Fucking hell, they go flying really. This place is super cool, by the way. Yeah, you know, the thing is that with this game being as big as it is. Oh, the Claymore. I should have come here earlier. Actually, this place probably would have been mad difficult if I came here earlier. But it, this place has like all the weapons I initially wanted. Like the Claymore, the Bastard Sword we got from the Merchant. Whoa. Um, you cannot be backstabbed. Okay, but you're easy as shit. Okay. We fought one of you as a boss. And you're like the bitchlier version of him. So yeah, this place has all the stuff I wanted, but... I don't mind. You can, you can like, gather information for subsequent playthroughs. Uh, don't think this is going to be a one-and-done game, believe me. Even though I'm going to be focusing on magic and faith for the next couple of runs to get the ultimate guides knocked out. The, you know, for any playthrough, it's good to keep shit in mind. Whoa. And these dudes did not have a pleasant time. Like, these things are... I guess they invaded the castle. They just, like, 
hella messed everybody up. Okay, this is gonna be... Wrong weapon. Come on. Come on. There we go. No, I had the right weapon. Just the wrong button, I should say. Fucking hell. Whoa! Oh, ho, ho. command grabbed. Aerial command grab. That's not fair. Oh, there's a dude. I'm coming, bro. Or are they all hostile? They're, they're all hostile. Come on. Seriously? I'm trying to help you. Assholes. Man, I... I feel betrayed. Come to their rescue like this and this is how they repay me. I, ju I jumped off a ledge. Come on. Unbelievable. Okay, I do think we can get back. See, I'm on the lookout for stuff like this because of the girl, you know. Her father is supposed to be here. So I'm like, wh who the hell knows what the hell is going to be happening. And there was that whole other path. That I didn't take there is okay, checkpoint. Noted. Noted on the checkpoint. Let's just. Fall damage is a s sort of weird in this game. Uh, so I've died from fall damage before. And it very much seems like an either or situation. Either like you're guaranteed to survive and take no damage. Or you just fucking splat and die. Oh. Hmm. See, I, th I thought there was a way back. There might be. But this... Well, whatever. No point in dwelling. If this is the way, this is the way we go. Holy shit, we're high up. Verticality has always been one of my favorite things in Souls level design. And that still didn't kill us. But I didn't really want to come here. Okay. Can you please let me open the map? Please, thank you. Let's try that again. That's it. Was my intention all along, it's just... So that it didn't work out. Pick what the hell? <laughs> Hold on, we we gotta like analyze that item. Damn, this thing is annoying. You can, well, whatever. You can bleed it. I'm betting you that this is the dude. Of noble blood. If those hideous mongrels eat me, I'll be forever marred. Or not. Just a, just a ghost. Call up the busters. I bet, bet you I can like chain backstab all these assholes here. They're not exactly the sharpest tools. So I'm guessing these things ate all the people in the castle. It's a bit of a dick thing to do. Uh, I guess these are not like demi-humans, but something similar. Get backstabbed. 
and you're gonna get. Ever play Dark Souls 3? Go to the Dragon Shrine. Wow, that, that is some delay. That's basically what I'm doing. Snake Eater theme? Where are you? Twinblade Talisman. Cool. Picking some of these up. And most of them seem to be useful. Uh, Twinblade enhances final hit of chain attacks. So the, the one I have right now is enhances guard counters. Stamina reduction enhances attacks on horseback. And we also have raises maximum. Slowly restores H. We can rock that now. Why not? And what is this? Pickle turtleneck? That's some good shit. I had that yesterday. The nutrients churn through the body, practically boiling out in endless power. Hey, have you ever had turtle soup? Visit Louisiana. You can get some dope turtle soup there. That actually does taste very nice. We had our discussions on Cajun food before. Okay, I'm guessing... This is the issue, like... This game messes with your mind sometimes, like... Is that gonna kill me or not? But if I jump onto the spike, it's gonna... But that didn't kill me. You gotta sort of think differently, because you're so hesitant on... Dropping, you know. What the hell is that? Oh! No, don't fall. These are the ones that uh, enhance your flask. Tarnished golden sun. The golden sunflowers have something to do with your flasks, don't they? Uh, or maybe not. No, 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 it's just... I had this before, I'm just stupid. Oh man, like, I'm gonna have to go back. If I'm hoping there is a Sight of Grace somewhere down there. Because I want to go back to the start of the castle and check out that other path. I feel like there is definitely shit there that I missed. I'm thinking I've been pretty thorough with looking around here. This is not a big area. Which, again, makes me... Okay, that's a little bit difficult to see. Which makes me curious where this is all... Gonna sort of lead up to. Hey, a rat that doesn't if inflict any status ailment? I don't even know what's going on. A whip. <laughs> we gotta see. We gotta see this. A leather whip, not originally used for combat, but as an instrument of... They know. Though its supple attacks cannot be thwarted by parrying or even guarding, it is incapable of dealing critical hits. Fair enough. That's pretty cool. And it has a jumping attack too. The sound effect is fairly good. Uh, whips have always been mad goofy. In Souls games, uh, I feel like they never ever work. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. Man, the lighting is really cool here. But it's like evening time, I'm guessing. <laughs> evening time. Like, I'm talking about the. Yeah. I'm talking about times of day in a Souls game. 
not everything is just like preset. It's crazy. There's a boss. I somehow thought that this was gonna culminate in a boss. The question is, is this... It's not. I was gonna say, is this bridge gonna break? Because... I've been around the block with drawbridges. And apparently I have the inability to dodge. Fuck, that, that delay is crazy. Get backstabbed. No. Like, Aveline user. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, what I was gonna say is I've been around the block with drawbridges and they never they never end well. Yeah, I think there's not much here besides the boss, so actually there is. Don't think I don't see you, treasure. My eyesight is too keen or something. Actually it's not. I could go for Dungeness Crab right now. Dungeness Crabs are delicious. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. That's too big of a Dungeness Crab. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. What am I doing? I keep forgetting I actually have sorceries. Crab eggs. Guess they could be tasty. Yeah, let's go back to the start of the castle and let me explore that other path. Okay, here we go. We'll see if this leads to anything significant, because it kind of looked like it would. But with Souls games, it's always... No! They just killed the boy. I'm betting you that was him. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. How did they get so difficult all of a sudden? Okay, let's give that another shot. I'm gonna come out of the gate swinging with them sorceries. Like, I don't think it's possible to rescue that guy. That... He, ju he just dies too quickly. He didn't level up HP enough. See, we should, we should put some points into that. Rookie. That's some rookie shit. God, I love this area. Uh, this is, again... It's the Demon Soulsy nature of it that I really like. It's such a shame that they're hostile as well. Um, it's what I sort of hate about the giant memories in Dark Souls 2 as well. I know Souls games and being friendly don't normally go together but it would be so cool just once you could make friends oh well looks like this is pretty much it Steel wire tor- oh, is this a better torch? Is that what I think it is? Certainly looks like it. Yeah, it has more damage. Torch wound with a metal wire, the flame can illuminate dark, yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavier than a normal torch, but the heated filament boosts fire damage dealt. Ah, 
and it has that thing that the Dark Souls 3 torch has fire breather. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Again, somebody said that the lamp, the lamp I should get is apparently here. As in, it's in the Weeping Peninsula. Obviously, I haven't looked up where it is. Does this just lead to the same place? Yeah, because I feel like if I drop down... That's a place I haven't gone to. Like, down here. Fuck off. Oh, you don't take that fall damage either, do you? You do take dagger damage. Listen, I want to do at least one quest line properly. Shit, it just leads... That just leads back here. Fuck. Okay, well, sense of navigation exposed once again. Uh, let me just check out that area, like across here. I don't think that's the way you're supposed to come here, but... <laughs> okay, fair enough game, fair enough. Can I just backstab you please? Thanks. And you as well. Hmm. I'm sure, like, can't say I explored every nook and cranny of this place, but... I'm actually not sure. She definitely said her father is here, and... He probably is. I ain't been able to find him. Whatever. Uh, I think there is no other place to go but down to the coast. Like, I mean, this is 100% a boss fight. I have no doubts there. Now I have magic weapon. Free magic weapon is dope as hell. Leonine Misbegotten. Wow, okay. Am I gonna fuck him up? Oh, he's gonna fuck me up as well. I see how this works. He deals a lot of damage, I deal a lot of damage. God, magic is OP. I just need to work out his combos. Like, look at how much damage I dealt to him. Easy. He seems fast, though. That's, like, the thing. Fast and jumpy. But, sort of dungeon bossy. Maybe it's, it would be better to save my FP for another buff. Tracks so well as well. Fucking hell. He doesn't have poise though, that's the interesting thing. He does when he does that, okay. Shit, you know, I forgot something. I fucking had enough runes here to level up. Okay. I sort of don't want to lose my level up chance. Believe me. So... I kind of got to be careful here. Wow, he's actually super easy. That is actually super easy. Uh, maybe you are meant to come here a little bit earlier. Now that I'm looking at this boss. Uh, what did I get? A great sword. Uh, a really great sword. 40, holy shit. 
colossal sword, the buried sword of Castle Morn, uh, Ravenger's weapon. It is burdened with oceans of anger and regret, one of the legendary armaments. A lone surviving champion from a country now vanished was so determined to continue fighting that he claimed the swords of an entire clan of warriors. <laughs> it's the Iron Throne. That is the Iron Throne. Is the Iron Throne in sword form? Cool. I'm, I'm not gonna use it. Not 40 strength. That's too mucho. I'm guessing the deal is that these weapons, these legendary weapons, have like unique skills or something. Uh, cool. Well, that was very easy, and we can still only get one fucking level. Uh, yeah, HP. So I feel like I'm sort of severely lacking in HP. It's just, I get that vibe. Hmm. You guys know what I'm missing, right? I'm missing the dude I was supposed to find. Let me just read that shit again. Maybe it's, it has some clues. Letter given to Irina, addressed to her father, the commander of Castle Morn. Shit. Okay, so he's here. Uh, this is like at the end of this path where I where there was a brawl. I looked it up because I really wanted to uh, do this. Apparently, I probably already screwed this up from what I read. Hello, beard. Oh, they serve. Cool. Oh, this is like a fucking, this is like a communist, a communist rebellion. Communist? I can't even talk. The Dobbies rebelled. I mean, cool. Okay. I'm trying to get yourself killed. I have it. I have it. Don't worry. Um. Yeah. Again, I I have it. <laughs> Do I need to have it equipped or some shit? Come on, bro. Hey, look what I got. What a dumbass. Okay. <laughs> Please don't tell me like you need to rest up or some shit. Because I ain't coming back here again, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, but we delivered the letter. Nice. We can warp back to Irina who was like here. Something like that. Yeah, I think that's going to do it in a bit. I'm so curious. Shit, is she dead? Oh, god damn it. She's dead. Bro. Well, that's a screw up. I, I did screw this quest up, didn't I? Oh, well, well, she's dead. But we still got the ladder out. And that's all that matters. Quest completed. I just guess we won't get a reward. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, there's another thing I looked up. Apparently the lamp people told me to get is like somewhere over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that as well. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Take care and goodbye.